The Crucible, Act One, Part Five. Paris with twinkling conviction now. A precaution only. He has much experience in all demonic arts, and I. He has indeed, and found a witch in Beverly last year, and let you remember that. Now, Goody Anne, they only thought that there were a witch, and I am certain there be no element of witchcraft here. No witchcraft! Now, look you, Mr. Paris. Thomas, Thomas, I pray you leap not to witchcraft. I know that you, you least of all Thomas, would ever wish so disastrous a charge laid upon me. We cannot leap to witchcraft. They will howl me out of Salem for such corruption in my house. A word about Thomas Putnam. He was a man with many grievances, at least one of which appears justified. Some time before, his wife's brother-in-law, James Bailey, had been turned down as Minister of Salem. Bailey had all the qualifications and a two-thirds vote into the bargain, but a faction stopped his acceptance, for reasons that are not clear. Thomas Putnam was the eldest son of a richest man in the village. He had fought the Indians at Narragansett and was deeply interested in parish affairs. He undoubtedly felt at poor payment that the village should so blatantly disregard his candidate for one of its more important offices, especially since he regarded himself as the intellectual superior of most of the people around him. His vindictive nature was demonstrated long before the witchcraft began. A former Salem minister, George Burroughs, had to borrow money to pay for his wife's funeral. And, since the parish was remiss in his salary, he was soon bankrupt. Thomas and his brother John had Burroughs jailed for debts the man did not owe. The incident is important only in that Burroughs succeeded in becoming minister where Bailey, Thomas Putnam's brother-in-law, had been rejected. The motive of resentment is clear here. Thomas Putnam felt that his own name and the honor of his family had been smirched by the village, and he meant to right matters however he could. Another reason to believe him, a deeply embittered man, was his attempt to break his father's will, which left a disproportionate amount to a stepbrother. As with every other public cause in which he tried to force his way, he failed in this. So it is not surprising to find that so many accusations against people are in the handwriting of Thomas Putnam, or that his name is so often found as a witness corroborating the supernatural testimony, or that his daughter led the crying out at the most opportune junctions of the trials, especially when, but we'll speak of that when we come to it. Putnam, at the moment he is intent about getting Paris, for whom he has only contempt to move towards the abbeys. Mr. Paris, I have taken your part in all contention here. And I would continue, but I cannot if you hold me back in this. There are hurtful, vengeful spirits laying hands on these children. Anne, tell Mr. Paris what you have done. Reverend Paris, I have laid seven babies unbaptized in the earth. Believe me, sir, you never saw more hardy babies born, and yet each would wither in my arms the very night of their birth. I have spoke nothing, but my heart has clamored intimations. Now this year, my Ruth, my only... I see her turning strange. A secret child she's become this year, and shrivels like a sucking mouth were pulling on her life too. And so I thought to send her to your Tichuba. To Tichuba? What made Tichuba? Tichuba knows how to speak to the dead, Mr. Paris. Goody Anne, it is a formidable sin to conjure up the dead. I take it on my soul, but who else may surely tell us what person murdered my babies? Woman! They were murdered, Mr. Paris, and mark this proof. Mark it. Last night my Ruth were ever so close to their little spirits. I know it, sir. For how else is she struck dumb now except some power of darkness would stop her mouth? It is a marvelous sign, Mr. Paris. Don't you understand it, sir? There is a murdering witch among us, bound to keep herself in the dark. Paris turns to Betty, a frantic horror rising in him. Let your enemies make of it what they will. You cannot blink it more. Paris to Abigail. Then you were conjuring spirits last night. 